Hello everyone, it's Ricky. Today we're going to be talking about the new release of The Hungering Deep and this is a full tutorial on how to finish The Hungering Deep and kill that final boss. First of all, you're going to have to talk to one of the guys at the inns. You're going to see a guy sitting down by the bar or one of the tables and he's going to give you a quest and he's going to tell you you want to head towards Sharkbait Cove and talk to Merrick. Merrick is going to be your initial quest giver and he's the main character in this plot and be sure you head there and talk to him. Once you do so, he's going to give you a hint and where to get the first books. You're gonna need to collect a total of three books if you would like to complete this mission. Now, the first book is located in the middle of the island and there you will get a hint about Merrick and how he seduced innkeepers within the Sea of Thieves. The next step is to go to Golden Sands Outpost where you will find hints into the next clue and find the second journal. So step three is to sail to this exact location, L14, on the map. And there you're going to find an island that is unmarked. On that unmarked island, there's going to be a mast sticking out of the water in the middle. You want to get to the top of the mast and read the journal. There you're going to get a hint as to where you will find the next clue. The next clue is going to give you a hint that you're going to go to some sharp teeth outpost this is going to be dagger tooth outpost there you're going to speak to an innkeeper lady again another one that our friend here merrick has seduced and you're gonna sail towards s16 that exact location on the map you're gonna find that there's another uncharted island and what's interesting here is you actually have to dive underwater and you'll find an underwater cave that you can enter but do not worry there's going to be air once you get past the actual entrance of this cave and with in this cave you're going to find the next clue now the final clue is going to tell you to go back to merrick and speak to him because here you're going to acquire the drum so now you're going to go back to merrick you have all three books it's really important that you complete all three books these books will be your checkpoints once you've completed that you will talk to merrick back in sharkbait cove and merrick is going to give you the drum and a new shanty for you to play keep in mind you can only play the shanty if you're standing next to Merrick and playing that chanty. Otherwise, it will not work. And this is very important for the final step to summon the shark. For this, you're going to need five people who have the drum. And this cannot be done with a solo galleon, so it's important that you make friends or find someone out there in the world to help you with this and cooperate together. And what you need to do is to have one person in your crew to continuously play the shanty while the other people drive towards the location T26. You have to bring that shanty with you and you have to keep playing it without stopping. And once you reach T26, you need all five people on drums playing the shanty in order to summon the shark. Now keep in mind, this boss is quite difficult and I highly recommend that you get as many people to help you as possible. It's gonna make it a lot easier. Make sure you have wood to repair. The shark does a lot of damage onto your ship. Cannons is a huge help. You can prevent him from attacking your ship if you shoot at its mouth when it's about to charge at you. And it's also very important to use guns in between. You don't always have to use cannons. Guns also do damage. This is definitely a very challenging fight. It's a very exciting fight. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to release our full length video of the fight. So you can watch how we did it. Or how did the encounter go about. It was a lot of fun. And that is all from me today. I hope you guys enjoy this guide. Feel free to like and subscribe. And see you later.